Today we're going to be looking at a pair of tandem strollers, strollers that are convertible for use with either one or two children, the Epibaby Vista V2 and the Nuna Demigro. These models are strong rivals on the current market, especially in the US, and with their similar relative size, high seats, generous shopping baskets, and expandability, may seem at first glance to provide very similar characteristics in terms of what they offer to parents. While in truth, there are actually many differences in their designs that impact both their performance as well as which environments and lifestyles they're actually best suited for. In this video then, we're going to point out the differences between these strollers, both as single as well as double models, to help you judge which one might be more suited to your own situation. And we'll be focusing primarily on four areas, child comfort, ease of use, drivability, and longevity. So let's get started then, beginning with the Vista V2. As far as child comfort is concerned, the Vista's main seat is built using a rigid frame bucket design with an adjustable leg rest, and size-wise measures out to a total length of 104.5 centimeters, determined by adding up the lengths of the backboard, baseboard, leg rest, and space beneath the canopy, and has an inside width of 32 centimeters, making the model most comfortable for children up to three or three and a half, before starting to feel a bit cramped, particularly in relation to the leg rest, as is common with most reversible seat models. When it comes to the tandem seat, on the other hand, the size is a bit reduced, unfortunately, generally necessitating that, at least with two toddlers, one is usually forced to place the youngest in the less accessible lower position, a setup that's not ideal for several reasons, not least of which being that it's generally the younger child that needs the most attention when you're out for a trip. As far as folding is concerned, the Vista is very intuitive to use and measures in at 44 by 65 by 84 centimeters when folded down as a single unit with just the primary seat attached. When it comes to the model's driving characteristics, there's a big difference between how the Vista performs as a single model as opposed to a double. As with only one child, the Vista is right up there at the top of the market for this sort of stroller, being both decently maneuverable and having excellent off-road capabilities, with its slightly above average front wheel size, its sturdy build, and most importantly, its suspension-loaded support struts. As a double model, however, the Vista unfortunately loses most of this performance due to the extra front-loaded weight of its tandem mode, which makes it feel much heavier to steer as well as to tip, and reduces off-road driving as well, at least in that it becomes more difficult to wrestle the model over and around larger obstacles. Looking lastly at longevity, the Vista is very sturdy for the most part, having been continuously improved over a long succession of models, and being built both with design simplicity and strength of materials in mind. And as a result, larger problems with the overall chassis are quite rare, with the only problems that I do see on occasion being with the brake system and the swivel locks, which are both pretty complex in their construction and contain a lot of small internal plastic components. It's worth noting here though, that the problems I've seen have generally been a result of a lack of lubrication and the wear this causes over a number of years. Moving on to the Demigro, the Demigro is one of a variety of tandem models, unlike the Vista, that uses the same seat unit for both the main and tandem positions. This seat unit is also built with a fixed frame, adjustable leg rest design, but differs from the Vista's main seat size-wise with a total length of 98 centimeters, nearly 7 centimeters shorter, and a width that varies between 28 and 33 centimeters depending on whether one is using the winter insert. Note here, however, that when the winter insert is removed, the mesh window of the seat back is much too large in my opinion to be suitable for colder climates, meaning, unless you live somewhere where it's always summer, that the seat is likely to feel cramped earlier than on the Vista. As far as folding is concerned, the Demigro uses a system more or less identical to the Vista, despite the rather different look of the model's central joint, and is thus also very easy to fold down, clocking in as a one-piece package with a single seat attached at 89 by 61 by 60 centimeters. As far as differences with its double motor concerned, the Demigro is a rear-loading model, which gives it a definite advantage over the Vista for child accessibility, but also means both a loss of carrying capacity, since the shopping basket space is now occupied by a second child, and also a loss of adjustability with regards to handle height, as in order to get proper leg clearance so you don't bump the tandem seat while walking, it's necessary to use the handle at its full extension of 111 centimeters. As far as driving is concerned, the Demigro is the opposite of the Vista, having much more limited terrain capability as a single child model, due both to its one inch smaller front wheels, as well as its more minimalistic suspension. On the other hand though, in two child mode, the fact that it's rear loaded as opposed to front loaded means that the center of weight is not changed substantially by the second child, allowing the model to retain both its maneuverability and terrain capability. When it comes to longevity, the Demigro is also built in a simple and strong manner like the Vista, but the differences in suspension do suggest to me that the overall structure will be more susceptible to loosening over time from the terrain. At the same time though, the Demigro's wheels are a bit stronger, being constructed with foam filled tires versus the Vista just using rubberized foam, and are likely to hold out a bit longer for before wearing down. So, which of these models is right for you? 
As a whole, despite a similar strength in how they're constructed, my preference generally lies with the Vista, as for me the most important side of tandem models is how they function as single child strollers, with the two child mode being most useful for covering more limited periods of time. And since the Vista offers both a larger seat and better terrain capabilities, it just means more bang for your buck in comparison to its size and weight. That being said, however, the Demi Gros isn't a bad model either, and if you live somewhere warm where you don't need the winter insert, and somewhere more urban where terrain capabilities will be less important for you, then it's definitely worth considering as well, if you're looking at tandem models, for the maneuverability advantages of its rear-loading two-child mode. In any case, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, we ask that you subscribe, as it helps us to continue making videos in the future. If you'd like to know more about either of these models, we have standalone reviews for both of them, and links have been added in the description. In addition, if you are currently shopping for a stroller, we have a buyer's guide on our Patreon page which lists a wide range of models that we recommend, with a lot of technical and lifestyle related information. You can find that by following the link in the description as well. Thank you.